Hey guys, it is Jay and Joss. A few days ago, we asked you to ask us some questions on Instagram. We asked you to ask us. <laughs> we asked you to ask us some questions on Instagram and today we are going to answer them. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's funny, I thought that was funny. What age did we start magic? You go first. Um, I started magic when I was six years old. No, five. I was five. I was five years old. We say that. Five now. years old. I was five years old when I got to magic um, because my granddad used to do really simple tricks. Uh, my granddad did a trick where he had a, a silk and he put it in his hand and he would go and it vanished. And then afterwards he taught me how to do the trick, but then I still didn't know how to do it. Even though he showed me the trick and how it worked, I still couldn't do it afterwards. Really? Yeah. What about you? I was around the same sort of age, five, six years old, and I was given a magic set for Christmas and I got hooked. And then I went to a birthday party and my friend had a magician there. And cut a long story short, we stayed in touch. And even to this day, believe it or not, his name's James Doherty. He is... Big uh, up, Jimmy. Big up, Jimmy. Jimmy is one of our, our good friends and yeah, we see him very regularly and he teaches us more stuff. We teach him stuff and you know, we, we collab and we, we join forces. So Jimmy is a legend. Jimmy is a legend. Ooh, good question. Who's asked that question? Who's asking this? Yeah. We've got XOXO, how or XOX. Excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that Sorry, sounds what? like a username rather than the XOXO, name. XOXO, how or XOX. Yeah. That sounds like a singer. Hi, XOXO, how are XOX? This is for you. <laughs> We've also got Chronophobia and Gemma Little Gem. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> maybe we don't ask them. I'm not sure if we should avoid that. <laughs> By the way, with satin jackets, it is freezing in here. They don't Absolutely care. freezing. They do not care. I'll tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, we can carry on that. <laughs> Which one? It was three. XOXO. The first one. Are you guys planning on adding new illusions into your show? Yes. Yes. We wanted it to be ready for well, Jazz. We're performing it soon, yeah, but obviously there's been a few things along the way um, that have prevented us from doing that. Um, so we are due to start performing that at the end of May. So end of May is our brand new show. It is going to be tour in the country. Yeah, and it's going to be really cool because we've got some exciting things with it. Um, we've been in the unit sort of rehearsing and making a lot of the props for the show. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but let's just say there's going to be some really cool things that we haven't done before. Um, we're bringing back some of the favourite things from the previous show, things that we've done for a very long time we're completely getting rid of. And we are doing some brand new, really exciting things as well, aren't we? We are, and I think it doesn't matter where you're sat, just sat at the front or at the back, you should get a completely different feel uh, for this new show. So that's all I said, I've said too much. I've said too much. We're excited. Yeah, it'll be good. Oh, do you know what? We wanted to add a bit of danger to the show, um, which we'd said for a while, and I've always wanted to do a water escape, but to be honest, other than practicing like in a pool or in a hot tub or something and just trying to hold my breath, I hadn't really, hadn't really done it a lot. So I think it was the end of, wasn't last year, the year before. Mm -hmm. And we were like, right, okay, next year we're going to do this, this escape and we're going to lock my head in the, a tank of water. It was a crazy idea on paper, weren't it? And we're like, somehow I'm going to have to find the right key to escape. Uh, so I think we, we started, I started rehearsing for it and practicing it before and we probably, in the rehearsals, I could hold my breath uh, for about 30 seconds. So I was like, I need, a, I need to be able to find the key like as soon as possible. Um, and then I think we started off with less keys and we added more keys in throughout the year because uh, it got to the point where I was feeling a bit more comfortable. So we thought we'll make it a bit more challenging, have more keys. And then um, the worst, I mean, what was the just three minutes and 18 seconds or something, I think it took, did it? Yeah. What? Standing in the wings, panicking, going, oh my God. Cut to clip, cut to clip. There's a clip there. Three minutes, 18 seconds, uh, where that was the worst that it's ever been. The, the longest it's ever taken me to find the key, so. You actually had to go into the wings and, uh, and have a lay down, didn't you? Because obviously that was the longest time that it had taken Joss to do it. And there's a bit that I do straight after the show so that he's got time to recover. Um, and just have a quick breather, you know, dry his head, 
and uh, put, put my makeup right back on. Put his makeup back on, put his microphone back on, change his top so it's a new fresh top. Um, and in that time, he actually had to lay down for a, a minute or so and just yeah. have just literally come back to terms. <laughs> I don't know, really like Ned. I don't know if I told you this, but actually, uh, when we were doing the show, I'm sat in the chair and obviously my head's in the tank. And it got to the point where usually I would I would open the key, uh, find the key, open it up, and I would stand up ready to do like a little bow thing to the audience. And that night, I was there, sat in the chair, sort of looking down, and I escaped and opened it, and I stood up. And as I stood up, I went, oh, I need another moment. <laughs> and then I actually had to sit back down because, no. because, um, I just, I felt like if, you know, if I just got up too quickly, I was going to faint, which would not be good. Oh, good question. Do you know what? Both of those are for you. So, they are for me. I what think it's for you. You should tell them. How does it feel to have a, a sword cut through me and to be pulled in half? Do you know what? <laughs> what are you laughing? I just love how people really, you know, what, what's gone through their mind when they've gone, do you know what? How does it feel? How does it feel to have that way going Exhilarating. <laughs> Exhilarating. 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 Right. It's great. Do you know what? To bring an element of mystery, to bring an element of illusion, to bring, to bring magic to the stage and to make the impossible happen, that in itself is, is a dream come true, isn't it? We're able to make, for, for that 45 minutes, yeah. we're able to, to take people on a journey that, you know, they might not go on every day. I mean, we go on it every day. I mean, and, and that's, <laughs> the, that's the cliche answer, but the truth is, does it hurt? <laughs> you okay? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I know who this is. Do you think it's our friends from Skeg? Is this the bag? Yes. It is uh, our friends from Skeg with the Disney bag. But you're like the Disney bag. Okay. Uh, Jess and... Jess and Ali. Ali, yeah. So, yes. so, okay. That's funny. We were doing the meet and greets and I don't know what I'm telling you, you know. Uh, we were doing the meet and greets and then just there. during the bit where everyone was coming through sort of the queue, there was a, 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 a couple there who had this bag on and I'm a huge fan of Disney and I saw it and it was like a rainbow bag with like Disney on brand. It was up. brilliant, it was a lovely and, bag. And they were like, hi, lovely to meet you. And the first thing I said, I was like, I love your bag. Like that's all I could think about. And then uh, they came to see the show a few times and then they even found where that bag was eventually for sale. They sent us a link to it. I jokingly stole the bag for a while, but I'm pretty sure they sent a link to the... To... He gave it back. He gave it back. They, they they sent a link to where we could get the bag and then... I, no, I did. Look, and I know we... No, no, the answer is no, we haven't. Long story short, we haven't got the bag. And, Bad. And... Uh... <laughs> 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 Not too bad. bad. Long story short, we haven't got the bag, uh, Jess, no. Ali, but we will get the bag because I love Disney. We should have bought my Disney mug. I've got a Disney mug on that point that it has loads of rainbow Disney ears. Wrecking boo. Pardon? <laughs> what did you call me? Wrecking a boo. Wrecking a boo. <laughs> That's how I used to say rainbow. Wrecking a boo. Rainbow. Okay. Our favourite place to do a show, I think it's got to be theatres. We love performing at theatres, don't we? We love performing at theatres, and I think we want to do more of them, so maybe next year we'll do more theatres. Spoiler alert. So... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We reverse. We love doing shows. The point is, um, no, theatres, <laughs> probably theatres. We love doing theatres. Uh, obviously, Butlins is great. We love doing Butlins and seeing everyone there. Butlins is amazing. We love um, it. But we want to do more theatres. And if you let us know where you are in yes. the UK, comment below, then that will be good because we want to try and see everyone. We would love to bring the show close to you. The, one of the things we always get asked is, oh, uh, are you coming to? Are you ever performing in Belfast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no. Great so, idea. Great idea. Comment below. Let us know where you would like to see us perform. Where would you like to bring? Where would you like us to bring the show to? Mm -hmm. 
let us know in the comments below. Yes, because we want to try and see yours. So uh, let us know your local theatres, the favourite places you like to watch shows, and then hopefully we can see if we can try and get there. No guarantees, but we'll try. We will try. We will try. Yeah, you go first. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Say it the same. Ah, say it the same time. From this, from the current show. <laughs> Is it from the current show? Yeah. Okay, right. Give me two seconds. He's on there. <laughs> right, are you ready? Are you you zoned in? No, 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 one sec. Are we connected? Uh, no, 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 we're not connected yet. Are we on the same side? Wait a second! Right, go on then. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. You ready? Yes. One. <laughs> yes. On three or after three? Uh, on three. One, two, say. Oh, no, no, yeah, I thought you were saying it. Okay, on three. <laughs> this is important. Ready? On three, say three. Yeah. <laughs> One, One, two, two three, three. So <laughs> <laughs> So insane. Oh. Uh, so Trunk is your favourite. No, I was going to say the Jaws of Death. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I was going to say Sub Trunk. <laughs> oh, we got it wrong. Oh, that's what I, do you know what it was? <laughs> We were thinking of each other. Oh, we were that connected. So, we were thinking the opposite way around. So clever. Right. Oh, uh, what's the sub trunk? Sub trunk. Yours is the trunk. What's the sub trunk? They don't, they don't I'm know. sorry. The bit where we switch places in the show, uh, you go inside the, I go inside the box, you stand on top, we switch places. Yeah. And, uh, for, in a second, and then drop. Yeah, we've switched places. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want to say that again in English? What's your favourite illusion? My favourite illusion is the sub trunk. Let me explain what that is because you probably didn't know. <laughs> My favourite illusion to perform is probably the human bear trap, uh, which is the one we're hanging upside down by our ankles, tied up in straight jackets, rotating, and then we have to try and escape from the straight jackets, jump down to safety before the jaws go, and then we get squished. What do the jaws do? Ow. So yeah, that's that one. Vernon or Marlowe? Oh, Vernon or Marlowe. Well, that's a very specific Ooh, audience that's a, that's question. A magician that's question. A, that is a magic question. Um, and I'm going to say Vernon. What are you going to say? I'm going to say Marlowe then. Yeah, I genuinely think it's 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 performing in front of the different audiences and having the crazy reactions from the audiences, and you never know what you're going to expect, what you're going to get. You, you, every audience is different. Yeah, you could you could rehearse the same thing five times, you could perform it two times, and then you know on the third time, someone in the audience could shout something out or do something completely different, and you have no idea what's going to happen. So uh, live performance, I think, yeah, it's, it's the unknown, isn't it? It's doing something that you have absolutely no idea. We're, we're both going to take it. We're both, um, I'd say, thrill seekers. So we like to do things that adrenaline, adrenaline. And obviously, when you're on stage, it's, it's it. such a great feeling. So, yeah. Uh, when it comes to, I think, um, the creative process of shows, I tend to listen to so much music because I'm hugely inspired by music. And I think you go, all right, I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do for this routine. You might have a sort of slight idea. And then you play some music and you close your eyes and you're like, oh, I can just see it happening and mm. all this stuff's going on. So um, we actually have some exciting plans with the music, don't we? Which long term, long term, well, yeah, it's not going to be within the next few weeks. But yeah. Well, the good thing is that um, Jay's brother's a very talented producer, so he actually writes music. And we've asked him uh, in the future, when he has more time on his hands, if we can make it, make the music for the show, really, make it all completely unique and all in the same format and style. Um, so we should have our own custom music. That, yeah. That, um, so if you should sound it to actually release and sh sh share with you guys. Yeah. Right? If you should sound it or say, Jay and Giles from are created by, you know, the amazing Samuel, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that'd be cool. Um, the amazing Samuel. I know, it sounds like a magician name now. Oh, it, it does, yeah. Um, but yes, in the answer to your question, we will put in the links to our current music um, in the description of this video. Uh, magician, that's why we were Majunga. David Copfield. Paul Daniels. Mm. Oh, we've got some exciting products, haven't we? We do, and let's not answer that. Oh, go on, what are you going to say? Well, we can't talk about 
we've got some really exciting projects. We can't talk about it. Yes. Um, <laughs> everything at some point. You know what? <laughs> things go wrong, it's live, so things go wrong, uh, but you deal with it and you make it work. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Three minutes, 18 seconds. Three minutes, 18. Uh, it's, it's, it's not very comfortable. Uh, sometimes it's cold in the crib, <laughs> cold water in. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, scary. Gordon's question! Gordon's question! Favourite thing about going on tour? Favourite oh. thing about going on tour? Uh, Favourite thing about going on tour? Uh, tour. <laughs> <laughs> tour. Did you say that again? No! I'm no! no. Favourite thing about going on tour um, is seeing lots of people, seeing lots of nice places, and um, the McDonald's. Food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not having no business cooking. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Yeah. Thank that is you. It. We need to do this again. We this do. Fun. This has been great fun. Uh, probably quite long. That was quite long, wasn't it? We need, uh, to, we need to work out to make this short. It was 40 minutes, apparently. What? Yeah. But we'll cut down to four. <laughs> 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 we are going to be doing more of these. Not necessarily question and answer, but we have some amazing, 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 amazing talented friends that yes. we want to showcase and share with you guys because they are incredible yes and we want to get them on the couch and ask them loads of questions and introduce you to them yes and you might already know them and we've just joined cameo we have we've just so joined cameo if you know that maybe your i don't know your son your mum your sister or auntie would like your dog a video message then get in touch because we'd love to do one of those as well we would we but would. until next time we'll see you soon bye